wall, and I'm busy with something. Why do you go meet Otto Berg? You'll find him squatting in one of the offices. <sighs> I'm bored anyway. Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. we can access to get to the next chunk of Shay's memories? Excellent. I'm gonna need the numbskull back if we're gonna proceed. Your next task is clear. But please reflect on what we have discussed. Hey, I'm by the elevator. Get over here. I got tired of waiting for Melanie's stupid repair crew, so I got this piece of shit working well enough to get you to the lobby and back. I'll get your animus prepped while you're downstairs. I've added the location of the next server on your map. Get going. Shit! I forgot! The server is behind a level one security lock. I have granted you level one security clearance. I trust there will be no further delays. Great! Now you can get into the server room. Once you restore the servers, I'll load the next set of Shay's memories to your animus. I could restore those servers myself, but then I wouldn't get to boss you around. Show your face without restoring the servers. I'm so glad I went to university for this. I want to see the next block of Shay's memories. Unlock those servers. Ah, what the hell do they need so many screens for in the first place? your hand.
servers, numbskull servers. But have you tried it, though? No, nah, the story's totally right. Don't you dare show your face without restoring the servers. And you're in. All points ready. Begin. Go, go, go! Who are you? Don't you touch her! Oh, for God's sake, restrain him! You, give me the child. Oh, shush now. You all right? Elena! Calm down, Mr. Berg. I promise you I won't hurt your daughter. Who are you? My name is Warren Vidic. I work for Abstergo Industries. You quit the Uti Yaga Regiment and became a freelance mercenary in order to afford better care for Elena's cystic fibrosis. How is that working out for you? Arkele! I have an offer for you. I don't work for people I don't know. It's not that kind of offer. I'm going to remove an item from my pocket. What is that? This little pill? <laughs> it's actually for her. Go on, little one. Have some medicine. Stop! There now. Isn't that better? <laughs> this pill will cure her. It isn't on the market, but it can be yours if you agree to participate in a little training program I put together. What does Abstergo need with someone like me? Oh, you won't be working for Abstergo. However, if you perform, Abstergo could work for you. I want one thing before I agree. Name it. That one there. He upset my daughter. I understand. Gentlemen, release Mr. Berg. Jenkins, give him your gun. What? Now. Yes, sir. Satisfied? It's a start. Like Haytham Kenway, Daniel Cross came from an assassin bloodline, as the Orlov family had at least two generations who served the Brotherhood. 
Daniel Cross's history of drug addiction and animus-induced psychosis should not take away from his many accomplishments for the Templar cause. Under the influence of Warren Vidic, he was planted into the Brotherhood and earned their trust, eventually meeting their reclusive mentor. Then his subliminal programming activated, and he killed the mentor, triggering the first great purge of the modern age. Al-Mualim. Haras. Vali Sel Tradat. Baptiste. Duncan Walpole. Haytham Kenway. Lucy Stillman. Daniel Cross. These are but a few prominent examples of something I've always felt. That there will always be assassins who are willing to abandon their cause to serve ours. Yet there is no one who embodies this idea better than Shea Cormac. And I want the assassins to confront this painful reality. Do you care to explain what happened in Paris? Gavin Banks led a team of assassins to your laboratory and destroyed it. That lab was supposed to be completely off the grid. How did they find it? Banks is a known associate of Sean Hastings and Rebecca Crane, who have infiltrated Abstergo before. He is also not your typical assassin brawler. He follows information. They found a way to access your Helix servers. Nothing is off the grid anymore. That facility was dedicated to studying the sage we recovered from Montreal last year. If you had informed me of its existence, Sigma team could have protected your interests. Did you engage Banks' team? Sorkin and I tracked them from Paris to La Rochelle, where their ship was waiting for them. We fought, but we were outnumbered. Sorkin was stabbed seven times by an assassin we have identified as Galina Voronina. And you let them get away? Let's be very clear. I was trained to hunt and kill assassins. It was you who disbanded my team and sent me on a fool's errand across the surface of the Earth. I warned you this would happen. You know what? I can admit when I'm wrong. You have my permission to reform Sigma team. I need DaCosta back. Impossible. She's still in Montreal. Unacceptable. I've apologized for my oversight, Berg, but don't push me. The fact is, we need to find new sages. Alvero Grammatica tells me that Melanie LeMay has a few promising leads in Montreal. When will DaCosta be finished? She's ahead of schedule on security upgrades and firewalls, but Helix is a target for assassins, erudito, and the first civilization consciousness. So, there have been some setbacks. Is the building physically secure? There's security on site. Send me there. Oh? I thought you were too good to be wasted on such trivial matters. I wanted to cast her back on my team, and if that building is a target, I need to make sure she's looked after. I will also improve their security in my own way. Very well, I'll start preparing the necessary documents. Like DaCosta, you'll be a consultant from Abstergo Industries, there to help bring them up to speed on some new policies. In the meantime, send some extra agents to Paris. I suspect there may still be assassins lurking there. I'm so glad I went to university for this. For in the first place.
If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. <laughs>